In this video, we're going to learn about the SQL case statement. The SQL case statement has basically all these things here. Let me let me uncomment this. It has certain clauses that you're going on to meet, uh, and it lets you put a whole bunch of conditions in and say what to do when the condition is met. So the, the typical case statement starts with case, and then it says column to check. So we're going to put a column name in there. And then we're going to go to a when clause, and we're going to put a condition that that column meets. And then if that condition is met, what do we want to do with it? And so we put that after the then clause. And then finally, if it doesn't meet the conditions, what else would we want to do with it? So if it doesn't meet any condition, what do we want to say? And so I've got a good table here that I think gives us a good example of how to use this. Um, so let's try to craft that up. This is the student table and there's a column in here called S underscore degree underscore level. Now this level has a U in it if it's really an undergraduate. It has a G if it's a graduate degree and it has a DR if it's a doctorate degree. So what we want to do here is we want to decode these so that we can see the description of them. And we don't have a table to join to at this point. So all we do, all we can do is, is uh, decode them manually. In order to do that, we're gonna use the case statement. So let's get started here on the case. So the, we're gonna say case, let me zoom out just a little bit. We're gonna say case, and then we're gonna say when. Um, I'm gonna put all the pieces in here. When, then, else, and I'm gonna put an end in there. And notice I don't have to capitalize them. I'm just doing them all in lowercase. The first thing we need is on the case, we need to put in what column are we checking? Well, we're checking that S underscore degree underscore level. So we're checking that column. Now, what conditions do we wanna decode? So the first thing I wanna decode is if that degree level is U, and here you could have case sensitivity issue because you're actually checking the data. Um, but when you, when, when the degree level is you, then I want to actually say undergrad. Now at this point, I'm just checking for that. So if the rows aren't you, I'm going to put undefined as the result. So now let's run this. And if it works right, we should have this new column at the beginning of our record here. Okay, so it worked. Now, we have no column name on it, but the, the data that came through works just fine. So when we have a U for degree level, it turned into undergrad. When we have a G, it turned into undefined. That's because we're not capturing that. So what we need to do for that is come in and put another win clause in and just go for a G and we'll call that graduate. And then we'll run this again. And now we've decoded the graduate degrees and we just have one left, the DR. So we'll put that in there and we'll call that a doctorate. And so now I've decoded all of them. I don't have any more undefines. And that's the first way we can use a case statement. Now the second way is you don't actually put the column up here. And so what you do is you take this column out and you actually put the condition down here. And this is how I normally use this. Because there's many times where I have conditions that use multiple columns, not just one column. And so you can put multiple conditions down here. Let me go and go ahead and run this. And you can see we get the same answer. Now I'm tired of this saying no column, so I'm gonna put in a degree description. And now our column has a name. Okay, so that's two ways of using case. Now let's get a little more sophisticated here. You can use other things besides equal. For instance, we can use a like, and we can just go after D percent. And so our doctorate degree still pulled through. Um, and then I want to do one more here where we 
uh, use some numbers. And so I have another query that we can do. Let me pull that over here. And so in this query, we'll just get it by itself. In this query, what I've done is I've joined over and I've got the GPA. Now I want to categorize these different GPAs into different buckets. This may be something that you do in a, maybe a data science type of role or something where you need some bucketing. And so what I want to do is create the same case statement. So case when, and I want to go after this GPA. So the GPA is in the G table down here. And so I'm going to say G dot, and uh, we're going to say G underscore GPA. Now when it is bigger than or equal to, actually I'm going to start with, if they have a 4.0, so if it's equal to four, then I just want to say these people are excellent. Now, when the G dot GPA is bigger than or equal to three dot five, then we're going to call this group um, great. Then when they're over three, we'll call this group, I guess we'll say they're doing okay. And then finally, everybody else, we're just going to say needs work. And we're still missing one thing on this. We need an end statement for our case statement. And then we're going to add this to column as um, GPA status. Okay, so let me scroll this up and let's run and see what happens here. So we've got a 3.14 GPA and they are doing okay. And that looks right. We've got a 3.76, they're doing great. 4.0 is excellent. And then poor Tommy, 2.75 needs work. So that captured everybody's status. One thing I want, to, want you to note though is that there's an order dependency here. If I take and move this excellent down below like this, let's see what happens to all those people. So our 4.0 GPA is now just great. What happens if I move the three up? Now we no longer have any greats or excellent. Everybody's okay or needs work. So the order in which this thing operates, let me go back to how it was. is that it will hit the first condition. If it meets it, it's done. So if it hits the four, we're done. Then it goes to the next condition. Well, this says everybody above 3.5, above or equal to 3.5, but if the four was already met, then it's already gone. So it never makes it to this condition. So now this is really 3.5 up to 3.9. And then the same thing here is what this is saying is, this is bigger than three, from three to 3.4. Now we could just as well use a between clause. And so we could say something like between, and we could say 3.5 and 3.99. Let's try that out. And so we still picked up our, our grades there. So we could use a between, or we can do it based off the order that we're putting the case statement in. So that's the case statement. Um, hopefully that helped. As always, if you find this video helpful, uh, please leave a comment below, click the like button, or subscribe to my channel. You can always visit me at sqltrainonline.com or on my LinkedIn channel, and I hope you enjoyed this video.